you may wonder why we're dressed like this and wearing glasses and staring at music stands, which we're going to reveal in a second. You read about these great inventors and stuff in history and like how did they, did they come to them. And I remember when I actually started building tech products and things, I would sit in front of the computer and then suddenly I would just get this download. And I'd be like, oh yeah, this is a good idea. And I'd write it down and I'd start working on it. And these would just, it would just continuously happen for years on end. And now I look back at it and I'm like, oh man, that was probably channeling. And where was that coming from? It's, Even music is channeling. You're bringing Sometimes, music. Sometimes, yeah. 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 yeah, a lot of composers yeah. would, would channel music. Right. It's the inspiration. And it usually like, maybe comes like a download, like a flurry exactly. of, of, right. of inspiration. You just have to write it down before you forget it. Uh-huh. Because you know, yeah. it's not in your memory. That's why you're worried about forgetting it. Yeah. There, there's a, a book that's out of print called... Um, conversations with great composers yeah. and, and they all spoke oh, of this but they were using God yeah right. uh -huh. it's yeah. very interesting yeah yeah we're all these multi-dimensional beings yeah and so we have bigger parts of ourselves that are more of our true identity mm -hmm. so they're closer to that God-like state and my experience is the highest part of ourselves is that God-like state and we're just learning to open ourselves up to experience more of what we are and I think, yeah, like a lot of composers, a lot of um, innovators, a lot of inventors. Um, are accessing Yeah, that they would download. Down. Yeah, Leonardo yeah. da Vinci, I know, talked about he would get visions in his dreams. Albert mm -hmm. Einstein was like that as well. Right. So a lot of right. them would be in these altered states of consciousness, get their creative inspiration, they, they channel it, they download it, mm -hmm. and then they'd express it here in the world, and it would then move their life forward in the direction of their desire. My experience, it was first going outside of me to find them things and then the evolution of that was coming more to a conclusion like you that it's it's all inside of you depends where you're looking how you how far do you zoom out i think the beautiful part of what you just said is when we you know zoom out we realize we are all god in that state and we can also experience ourselves as individual people in this world playing the game of life and i think sometimes in our own quest for happiness we have to we think we have to negate being human to find an afterlife or to find higher consciousness or higher dimensions and my experience is the way to get there is to integrate everything instead of negate things and when you realize you have these like god consciousness experiences it doesn't make the human experience any less it actually makes you appreciate love and honor the human experience even more Because we talked about music and channeling and this wonderful book, we've decided we're going to do something a little different today. Hence, we are going to perform the second movement of Sonata Pathétique by Beethoven. We hope you enjoy it. This is our very own arrangement. It's the first time we've ever recorded it. Good luck. Good luck to you. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Okay.
Hope you enjoyed the show, and thanks for listening. And what, with, and the dance party? Where is it coming? <laughs> the best part? The, the dance, dance party. Oh, oh stick around for the dance party. <laughs>